I'm joined now by Sarah Crothers, who's an astrophysicist, journalist and presenter. What do you uh, think of this, Sarah? We've only been going into space for 50 or 60 years. I think, you know, we just take so many things for granted to do with space travel. Everything in our everyday lives, such as mobile phones, technology, TVs, it all relies on space. But what we're actually seeing at the moment are the closest of pictures of a comet that we've ever, ever seen. And by understanding more about a comet, you can understand more about why we have life here on Earth. 41 years ago this week since Americans last walked on the moon. Do you think looking back now you realise kind of how surreal everything was oh, about? Yeah. So many parts of the culture back then was about space travel. Well that's why places such as Tyree were so important because they were able to fly a thousand miles in this direction up towards the Icelandic Gap and really collect all that information that was missing. He's landed a six-month contract worth around £67,000 to live and work here in Australia. The best way to think about the biobank is like a large scientific library. The idea is that researchers can use the samples stored in this giant freezer in order to learn more about what causes common diseases. The operation is being trialled here in Manchester. The idea is it's cheaper, better for the patients and more efficient. It smells uh, like somewhere where animals are kept on a farm or something and they just don't seem to have anyone to care for them. They seem to be completely left on their own. It's not just about science. All these space missions are about inspiring people. It is just an incredible, incredible experience. Thanks, You'd think that was good. Where do you get the sport from last night? <laughs>